Um, the other way we lose nitrogen, uh, really two ways, there are losses of nitrate nitrogen, is uh, leaching. Nitrate uh, has a negative charge, soils are, or, yeah, has a positive, I'll get it right. Nitrate has a negative charge, soils have a negative charge, so they don't, they repel each other, they don't stick. So if you have nitrate in the soil, you get water moving through the soil, the nitrate goes with it, and that's where we get leaching. Uh, ammonium nitrogen, on the other hand, and all these urea products, ammonium sulfate, almost all of our fertilizer materials start out as ammonium. It doesn't leach in that form, but it very quickly gets converted to this nitrate form that can then leach. Uh, the other loss that happens is called denitrification. That mainly happens when we have wet soils. Uh, if a soil gets saturated, um, the microbes in the soil start to drown. And uh, there's no oxygen there, no air. The pores are all spilled with water. Uh, they figured out that nitrate, which, which is NO3, has three oxygens in it. So they break down the nitrate basically to get the oxygen to breathe. They just give off the nitrogen as a waste gas. So if we lose it, it's not there available to our crop anymore. Um, that mainly happens in our, our more poorly drained soil. It can happen in any soil that gets saturated, but the bigger problem in our poorly drained soils. Leaching is more a problem in our well-drained soils. Uh, but they're both related to nitrate. Um, the main way, historically, we deal with uh, that problem is timing. Just try not to have our nitrogen out there when we expect to have conditions for leaching or denitrification. So it's why we don't put nitrogen on in the fall, or why we don't put, like to put nitrogen on real early in the spring. We like to wait as long as we can, get as much of the wet weather behind us as we can, so the chances are we're not going to get those kind of conditions where we'll get a lot of loss. So that's why side dressing works very well just avoiding the condition. Now, one of the problems there is that, uh, you know, you still, you put it out there and then the next week you get three inches of rain, you could still lose it. So there's no guarantees, but at least you've improved your odds that you're not going to have those conditions. Chemically, we can deal with that with something called nitrification inhibitors. And what nitrification inhibitors do is they basically stop the microbial process that converts nitrogen from ammonium form to nitrate. And that's important because ammonium has a plus charge, so it sticks to the soil. It won't leach. There's no oxygen in ammonium. It's NH4, so it won't denitrify. So as long as it stays in that form, it's still available. Crops can take it up in that form, but it won't leach. It won't denitrify. Uh, one product we don't have in this study, this study we're primarily looking at surface application in no-till, so uh, we, we have to deal with products that are labeled in no-till. But a product's been around a long time. It's called NSERV probably have heard of NSERV. It's a nitrification inhibitor. It has to be incorporated though to work, and it basically, it's a pesticide. It has a pesticide label, just like a herbicide or anything else. It, it, it basically wipes out or suppresses that population of microbes that do that conversion. That keeps the nitrogen in the ammonium form, so it doesn't leach, it doesn't denitrify. Uh, it's used a lot in the Midwest. There's places in the Midwest, they still put an awful lot of nitrogen on in the fall. If they don't use a nitrification inhibitor, they lose just most of it by spring. So they almost have to use a nitrification inhibitor if they're going to put it on in the fall. Using it in the spring, it still works. It's a legitimate product, but we just don't see as much benefit there. Uh, we don't put any nitrogen on in the fall here, so it really hasn't caught on as a, a serious product for us here. Uh, there are some other nitrification inhibitors in, in these two products, the Super U, and the Nutrisphere, in addition to having urease inhibitors in them, have a nitrification inhibitor in them. So they're also designed to keep it from volatilizing. Now you've got it captured in the soil. Now we want to keep it in the soil. We don't want it to leach and denitrify, so that's why the nitrification inhibitor is in there uh, to, to stop that. But it's important to recognize the difference between those two products. So you can buy the individual product. You can buy Agrotain, which is just a urease inhibitor. You can buy Guardian, which is the nitrification inhibitor in this product and use them by themselves, but you need to understand what they're doing. A urease inhibitor is only stops the volatilization. If you're incorporating or if you're putting your nitrogen on and it's getting rained in right away, even though the product may work perfectly, it's no good. It's not going to help you at all because there's, there's no loss there because you incorporate it. Uh, a nitrification inhibitor won't stop volatilization, so if you used uh, Guardian or NSERV on the surface, not going to do you any good stopping that volatilization loss. 
because that's it's not designed to do that. So that's one thing I think, you know, when we're talking to farmers, we really got to kind of keep clear that you know, most people kind of lump all these, their nitrogen stabilizers, and, you know, it's sort of a generic thing. It's not true. They don't, they're not all interchangeable. Now, since they've come out with more of these combination products, it's not quite as big a deal because they have both in. Uh, but like I say, you can buy the individual products. And I've seen people do that. You know, they buy a urease inhibitor and incorporate it right away, or they buy a nitrification inhibitor and put it on the surface. Well, I got my stabilized nitrogen. But, you know, they didn't really understand what the product was supposed to do, and so they wasted their money, even though the product worked perfect. Okay. Uh, so that's what these do. They they help to keep that nitrogen once we've captured it <coughs> in the nitrate. Uh, one other one that is we're looking at is called ESN, and this is a, a polymer-coated urea. You notice it's only 44% nitrogen. That's simply it's urea, but it's got a plastic coating on it. Okay, that plastic coating, if you put it under a microscope, has has very very tiny little pores in it. And the idea here is that you spread that out there, it, it doesn't release it all at once. Water has to diffuse through those real tiny holes and then dissolve the urea inside and then that urea solution has to diffuse back out through those little tiny holes. So it controls the release of the nitrogen. It doesn't specifically stop volatilization, it doesn't specifically stop denitrification or leaching. It just releases the nitrogen very slowly so it's not all there at one time. If you put just straight urea out there, it's all there now. If you get the conditions for volatilization, it's all going to volatilize. Uh, if you put uh, any of these out there and without an inhibitor in them, they convert to nitrate. They're all there. They're all at nitrate all at one time. You get that big rain event, you're going to lose it. Here, you're only really risking what has diffused out of the pores up to that point in time. Now, these products have been around for a long time, mainly in turf grass. Uh, turf grass, you know, you, you spread something like urea on your lawn, grows like a son of a gun, you got to mow it every three days because it's got all this nitrogen all there, all right now. With the controlled release materials, it's just slowly releasing it, you know, over maybe a month, so you just kind of get a gradual release, you get the green up, but you don't get that really rank, rapid growth you get if you put a whole lot of soluble nitrogen all at once. So it's accomplishing some of the same things that these products are doing, just a totally different way of going about that by controlling that release and really uh, reducing the exposure uh, of the nitrogen.